Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the worst investor in Magic the Gathering history. So imagine selling a booster box that is currently worth $200 for $42 to Rudy. Because that's what this guy did. Um, the guy took a hit on his sealed product. He sold it to Rudy for 70% of what he purchased it at. And when I show you these prices, you're going to puke, right? Uh, you will absolutely puke um, because he was selling Conspiracy Take the Crown, which is a $200 box nowadays, for $42. And he was selling Fallen Empires for $70. Um, so not only did he um, take a loss from multiple boxes, I mean, he's taking a, a massive loss. Fallen Empires goes for $600 now. A box, maybe 500 a box. Um, so this is how much he paid. 163.35 for Averson, 110 for Battle for Zendikar. And again, there's multiple boxes, right? There's multiple boxes. Conspiracy Take the Crown at $63, which is really good. Conspiracy, $89. Dark Ascension, Dragons, Alderic at $68. Wow. Fallen Empires, so it's 70% times this amount. So Fallen Empires, he paid $77 uh, on a $500 box. So if he had just waited a few years, he would have had a $500 box. Gate Crash, $53. So times 70% is $35 a box of great Gate Crash. Um, cons, $70 a box. The above prices were my average price for each item. Rudy paid me approximately 70% of my cost to purchase everything that includes shipping. So 70% of my cost was, is above and that includes shipping. So uh, even taking Fallen Empires right now, let's just call it a $500, $400, $500 box. That was really good. Uh, that was a great buy for Rudy. And Rudy's made several great buys. And I know this because I get approached by the same person. I, I think there was a, one dude who wanted to sell me a Yagamir's Hollow uh, BGS-10 and a Powder Keg BGS-10. And he wanted like $800 or something really above market price at the time. And I said no. Um, and Rudy bought it for like 200 bucks, <laughs> which is uh, way below market. So if market price is 400 the guy wanted to sell it to me for 800 and then he ended up selling it to Rudy for uh, 200 So I think when you listen to Rudy's videos, if you're really interested, um, his perspective is tainted by these really good deals. So Zendikar Rising, if Rudy gets the box for $40 a box, um, he's going to view that set very differently than you are. Because you're getting it for a 100 a box. And that's honestly, you know, that's what it, how it is. I mean... I, I wish, you know, that the average person is not going to have access to the type of deals Rudy has access to. I mean, the average person would love to jump on buying 70% or even 100% of those boxes at that time. Um, you're talking about Conspiracy Take the Crown, multiple boxes of that. You're talking about... Um, you're talking about legitimately probably one of the best investments that you can make. And had you invested in it, had this guy not sold it, I think it clears, you know, the guy makes 5 Gs, no problem. Um, investing, let me try to figure out account in Magic the Gathering. So there, there's one problem. The problem is really obvious. So he has multiple boxes of Khan to Tarkir. I mean, wow. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Seven boxes of Khan to Tarkir. And what is Khan to Tarkir at right now? So he bought, he sold to Rudy Khan to Tarkir for, so he bought Khan to Tarkir for a whopping $99.26 a box. He sold it to Rudy for less than 70 Imagine today getting Khan to Tarkir for less than $70 a box. That is uh, incredibly good. That's like, whoa, you did it. You made amazing. You made money. And I think what happens here is that people are willing to sell to Rudy for much, much less than they normally would take to anyone else. Because, you know, hey, hype. 
but that's okay. Just take it with a grain of salt. So when you're thinking, oh, should I invest in Pharaohs Beyond Death? You're not thinking at the same price point Rudy is. Rudy's probably getting it for what? Like from subscriber, maybe $40. I mean, if Karns of Tarkir is 70 and what was Gatecrash is like, Gatecrash, he paid, um, what is Gatecrash? $53 times 70, $35. So he's probably getting front of the Eldraine for $35 a box from people in selling to him or distributors or someone. So if you pay $100 for front of the Eldraine, for you to make any profit, it has to go up to 150 if you include your time. And then really, to get any type of really good margin, you need 200 So you need it to double the price. Uh, if you bought at 35 you actually already made your... It already tripled in price at 100 so you're good. You're Gucci. And I think that's what I wanted to explain to you guys. And it might not come off this way. I, again, it's a very, it's incredibly good business this is in Rudy. Um, but it's not any different from some local game stores that, you know, my previous local game store, not the one I owned, uh, paid people 10% of TCG uh, value. Mids. I mean, at that point, you can do mids, right? You don't need to do loads anymore. So when you invest in collector's boosters or Ikoria boxes or Pharos boxes or Throne of the Elder End boxes, just realize that, I mean, your price point is very dependent. I mean, whether or not you make money from this is highly dependent on your price point. And if you buy something for $35 a box, that's very different if you buy the same box for $90. Um, and... I think it is very fascinating um, when investing in Magic the Gathering boxes goes horribly wrong. If the guy had just kept it for three more years, look at the list of boxes. I mean, I'm counting here as two Averson boxes, two anthologies, multiple Fate Reforged, which is a, a gold mine, multiple um, from the vaults, multiple conspiracy. I'm seeing um, a ton of. Um, I mean, that list of cards, had that subscriber kept it, I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, he sold Fallen Empires for 70 bucks, and now it's a $500 box. How much is Karns of Tarkir box? I mean, he had multiple Karns of Tarkir. He should just kept. Um, but, no, hey. That's why Rudy's Rudy, and that's why that... Chum is chum, right? Uh, Kanja Tarkir booster box. Um, let's see what it is on Amazon. It's 250 bucks on Amazon. He sold, it looks like he sold, um, oh, and it was really nicely packaged and everything. Seven of them. So it's $250 from just Kanja Tarkir. Uh, Kans, he sold for 99, he bought for 99. He sold for 70% of that, 70 bucks. So, in Kansa Tarkir, it's already quadrupled. So that's savage, right? That is savage what happened to this dude. Um, I mean, I'm looking at the boxes, and honestly, he should have kept. But, hey, you know, he said he didn't need the money. Uh, now, how true that is, I don't know. But it is really crazy to me, in my opinion, where I don't know how to say this other than yeah, it's just ridiculous how much money he lost. This was the worst magic investor I've ever seen. He sold at a loss when today he could have made quadruple gains. Quadruple gains. I mean, just take a look at this list again. Holy blank. And there's multiple boxes of most of these. He has uh, from the vault $35. He has six of them or seven. It looks like he has a bunch of them. That's crazy, right? I mean, he was selling from the vault lower than MSRP, lower than the $30 the store buys it at. Again, if you can get a deal like this that Rudy got, my gosh, jump on it, right? I mean, you got Averson at that price, Conspiracy Take the Crown, my gosh, 64 bucks Times, again, Rudy paid 70% of this, so the real prices are actually 30% lower. 
Fallen Empires at 70 bucks or $77. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Fate Reforest at 50 bucks. The above prices were my average price for each item. Rudy paid me approximately 70% of my cost to purchase everything. Uh, that includes shipping. So, terrible investment. Uh, terrible investor. And this is the majority of the uh, sheep. They're going to lose this type of money. Because they, I don't know, it's just very savage. I, I can't imagine more savage situation than what this guy experienced. Jade is just such a bad investor. Like, I don't even know where to start on this. Um, he lost 30%, and then he lost probably 400% on the back end. Hey, gotta get fed. <laughs>